Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen where we've got Sarah Doyle back in the kitchen. Again. Again. <laughs> and we're really pleased to have her back, especially before Christmas. It's great to have somebody in twice a week. We've done really well, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Last week and this week, so I'm really pleased. Great, isn't it? Yeah. Get out of money as well. <laughs> <laughs> so Sarah's coming back to show you how to decorate some cookies and how to use royal icing, how you sort of, like, I don't know, show you all the technical jargon. I'm more interested in watching myself, which I'm sure you are. So I'm sure it's going to be extremely great night. For any of you who have missed uh, Mondays, how dare you, Miss Mondays Live, Sarah made this fabulous cake so easy. It was actually a joy to watch her make it. So if you have missed Mondays Live, make sure you pop back, watch it, because if, you're, if you need to make a cake in a rush, then this is one I think is easy. And it's great, you can do it with the children, anybody, do you not think? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And that was the whole idea why she did it. Sarah's actually been here and made two Christmas cakes before. So, and we've had loads of ideas. So we've had Karen Davies in, we've had Julie Rogerson in, and, and I can't believe I got the name right. So <laughs> Julie Rogerson in, all giving you inspiration for Christmas ideas. And you've all made me laugh because all of you are as confused as Laura and I and want to make all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to pop this out of the way. Okay. So we're in for a great session tonight. So just let me say hello to Laura and Maria. Hi girls. Hi. So Laura, do you want to do your spiel? <laughs> of course. And we, um, so let's tell you where we are first of yeah, all. Yeah, we're on the other side <laughs> of the kitchen today. So we're still in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen and we're on the other side so the camera angle's slightly different. It's just to allow Sarah to sit down and show you the decorating skills that she's got coming up for you this evening. So hi to everyone that's joined us this evening and thanks as usual. If you're new to the Sugar and Crumbs Facebook Lives, say hi and introduce yourself in the comments. It's really nice to hear from anyone that's new that's watching. Um, if you've joined us before, you'll know as usual, um, anything that you're interested in purchasing is available on the website. So head over to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk when we're finished. You can either search by brand, use the search bar at the top of the page, or you can head over to the Facebook Live must-haves. Um, we also stream the Facebook Live video on there as well. So if you need to catch up with anything that you're watching or you want to purchase, everything's in one place for you. Um, again, if you've missed any of the live or you can't stay with us for the whole session, you can catch up when we're finished. It will be pinned to the top of our Facebook page. It also gets transferred over to YouTube. And like I say, you can catch up at any point when we're finished. Um, On the note of YouTubers, hello YouTubers. Hello YouTubers, <laughs> absolutely. So Thanks they're joining, joining us. So is, our, is it growing nicely? Yeah, Laura? the audience grows nicely. It does take a few minutes for everyone to join us, but say hi and, and you know welcome to everyone that's watching. Um, as we always say, what happens in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen stays in the Sugar and Crumbs, crumbs kitchen. This is all for demonstration purposes, so it's not for consumption by the general public. We're not selling any of the items or anything like that, so please don't be concerned about hygiene in terms of our hair being down or us touching our face or anything like that. Nothing to be concerned mm -hmm. about. <laughs> Um, we've also got a, a new competition running, so week on week we ask you to sh like and share our Facebook video, um, share it to your friends, do be careful about sharing it to any groups that you're members of because there are rules and restrictions about that, um, so just be mindful of where you're sharing it. But what we do is we pop everyone's name into a prize draw, so if you've liked and shared and we've got your details, we'll pop you into a prize draw for a gift voucher of £25. Yes. So we will be drawing tonight's winner from last Thursday. Um, so if you've shared Thursday post, we draw it on the following Thursday. If you shared a Monday's video, we draw it on the following Monday, just Absolutely. to keep it simple. Absolutely. So I hope you enjoy the Facebook Live. Like I say, if you've got any comments or questions that are relevant to this evening, pop them in the feed and we'll get round to them as and when we can. If we do miss anything, we will catch up later in the week for you. Isn't she good? Brilliant. I would have stuttered and stammered oh. all over that. I would have. I'd have lost my teeth, even though they're not false. <laughs> they would have fell out. Just for the record, mine aren't either. <laughs> but you're so good, Laura. Honestly, I don't know how you get it all out. So she said, uh, that's why she's there, because she spiel, it all comes out, which is brilliant. So thank you for joining us tonight. Now, for those of you who have not met Sarah, Sarah's great fun. She's been in the kitchen three times before. It feels like you've been here loads of times, mm, it though, does. doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So this is her fourth time in the kitchen because when she was here on Monday and she said she'd only been here twice I was like I'm sure we've missed some yeah I think it's I, I think, think it's, it's five, five. Like, yeah, yeah, this is your sixth before. session you know yeah this is my second cookie session it's you my you're confusing me, making me think I don't <laughs> really know what's going on. I was everything. well confused on Monday when she said, no, I've only been here once before, uh, twice, twice before, because she did the uh, boot the first time, then the cookies. And then I'm stood here thinking, no, because she came back and did another boot. And yeah, that was my third cake. But did you do a stocking as well? Yeah, 
I did the farm boot with yes. the mouse coming out. Yeah. I did the Christmas stocking with the presents, and I did the um, I did the cookies then. So that was three, and then I did the Christmas cake on Monday. Four. So today's five. Five. Yeah. Wow. I'm sure we're still missing one. Anyhow, <laughs> been here loads, loads. She's been here. <laughs> so today she's going to come and take us through the cookie process. So we're not showing you how to make cookies, okay? And what you want to call cookies is up to you. Me, cookies are soft, gooey, moorish, and they, they sort of bend when you bite into them. It's like, um, shouldn't really say this because I remember the first time I had a cookie I thought it'd gone off I thought it was a soft biscuit but I quite <laughs> liked it do you think that? Yeah, you get that yeah whereas I like the snap <clears throat> and that's what we've got here yeah. isn't it yeah so we're using the sugar and crumbs easy shortbread recipe it's really very easy and we'll pop the link up in the post of Rhea hasn't already done it yeah. um, but it's so easy to make it takes 15 minutes to make and then you cook your cookies and they're lovely and I don't want to tap them too no, hard no. Anyway. <laughs> Tap and two out. We make them with our flavoured icing sugar. You can make them with any of the flavoured icing sugars. The ones I love the best is uh, black cherry, mulled wine, gingerbread. Um, toffee apples. Toffee apples, delicious. Marie's yes, toffee apples. Mm. Toffee apple queen, yeah, she? she is. So, uh, so we're going to go through that process. Now, there's parts of, parts of the process where it needs a bit of drying time. So during the drying time, when um, Sarah gives me the nod, I'm going to show you how to make this. Now, this is called a Royal Mix. It comes in from America, and it's made by a company called More Than Cake. It's a fantastic product. It's endorsed by uh, Michael Lewis Anderson. Got it right, so I was going to call him <laughs> Hamilton. Okay, um, it's endorsed by him as a great product. Now, this product is expensive when you look at the price. When you look at what it can do, it's actually very cheap. Mm. So you get 257 grams in a packet, but you only need 16 grams per batch. And when you see how much we're going to make in a batch, then you'll understand. Um, it's got a best before date, and at the moment it's 11, 000, It's 11, November and 20. Okay, so we've still got a year on this, just short of, which is brilliant. In fact, I think the next one's longer. This is my packet, so I think the next one's 21. Um, so I'm going to let you crack on then, Sarah. Okay, okay. And then I'm going to go make myself a brew. <laughs> Anybody else want one? <laughs> You'll have more coffee and tea orders coming yeah. on Monday night. <laughs> which chair did we put away for you? Is it this one? Yeah. Brilliant. Do you we like our backdrop? This is what you don't I see. I know. This, everyone's like, oh, <laughs> where are you? Do you want to give it a little twirl? Um, uh, can you twirl it a little I bit? I can a little bit. So this yeah. is our backdrop that we've got this evening. So you can yeah. see all past cakes, models and class. Yeah. And should we give class them a little? makes and bakes. Yeah, and then if we look over there, have a little twist around. May as well let them see what this side of the kitchen looks like. If you can twirl the camera around enough. Trying not to destroy yeah. anything. So here is our fridge. Somebody's coat. And then we've got some cakes up there. Um, but basically, everything is stashed everywhere. So yeah. this is the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. And Sarah, I'm going to make a brew and leave you to it. Okay, okay. thank you. Right, so quickly done my pinny from mm -hmm. Effie's Pantry yes, Cakes. I've got to tell them. Sorry, Sarah. That's all right. You uh, tell them where you're from. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so I'm based in Wiltshire and I work from home. I've run my business for a year now, still learning. But as advertised, tonight I'm going to show you how to make a Santa platter, basically, that we leave out for Santa on Christmas Eve. <laughs> and, um, you know, us parents, we're always left with half a carrot and half a mince pie, and you can't be <laughs> bothered to eat the rest. So I thought what I'd do is design a set. So I'm going to, um, as advertised, we showed you the picture I did of um, the mince pie, the carrot and the cocoa mug. So I've done some cookies here and I hand cut these, these are a template and I hand cut these um, making, just drawing out a template on card, cutting them out and cutting around. Very easily done. Um, got some jumpers here so if I have time to show you Cute. I can uh, yeah. do a little knitted design on there. So Going ahead, last night I previously um, made some icing up and I made this mince pie because I outlined it and flooded it so that I had eight hours o or overnight to dry because mm -hmm. that's how long a flood takes to completely dry. But we'll be going through the process gradually and you know I've chosen quite simple cookies but just to be able to show you different techniques yeah just let me ask 
as I've popped in the fridge to get the milk. There's two bags of Royal Icing in here. Do you want them? Yeah, in the they're fine. Up? They were my practice ones. Oh, are they? Right. <laughs> I don't want you asking me for them in the frozen. No, no. <laughs> I was out. looking for them earlier and then I remembered and then I'd already made some up. So, right. So here's some previously made. So I'll just firstly quickly show you how to colour a basic outline. So there's the consistency of the outline. So that literally just flops over like that. It's very thick. It's like a, um, a toothpaste consistency. Okay. And I'm just going to make this for the outline of my carrot. So I'll colour that orange. It's actually easier to use a two teaspoon in a bowl. So I will. There you go. <laughs> And you're just using the fractal gel colourings? Fractal gel colourings, yeah. So yeah. this is the orange. Um, Take it the opposite way so we can see that colour. Lovely colour. And rather than go mm, yeah. like that, I'm going backwards and forwards. So that's very similar to, to what Carol does with buttercream. So we class yeah. it as paddling. Yeah. So obviously to stop loads of air bubbles. Air bubbles, yeah. The same sort of method and technique. Yeah. yeah. Which is especially as well very important in royal icing. You want to prevent as many air bubbles yeah. as possible. Because you, you know, you can see them, you can pop them. Yeah. With the scribe tool, I'll show you later. But um, if, you, if you do it at this stage, obviously you're making your life a bit easier, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So that's a really nice consistency. We'll just show you that again. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Oh, All right, it's really so holding it will, itself, then, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So that will outline the cookie and orange hold looks good, doesn't it? hold the flood. Yeah. I've done it a quite pale orange because, with any luck, we can airbrush. You can airbrush when it's crusted over. Yeah. Um. So we can airbrush that a deeper ready orange got an orange there i'll add a little bit of red to that talk about that later but yeah fantastic so these little paper bags parchment bags are lovely so you can cut them i actually really like them because you can cut a very fine point if you're needing fine detail yeah i'm not doing fine detail today i'm just doing a simple simple ones if anyone's seen my Facebook page, I go a bit wild with my cookies. Yeah, that one you brought back last yeah. time was fantastic. The, the, uh, the, oh, the country scene. scene. Yeah, yeah. The country incredible. Scene. Absolutely incredible, that. I mean, I have grown with my love of cookie making in the last year. Um, I think more for its versatil versatility. Versatility? Yeah. Versatility? Versatility. Um, because you can do so much with it and yeah. you can draw and paint as if you're painting a picture basically you can build up texture you can pressure pipe but we're starting simply for now i think the thing is is having the confidence to do it so you've shown us how to do the basics tonight yeah yeah then helps you because my panic is i put on the outside edge but i do it too thick yeah yeah and then i do the flooding it's too it's below the edge yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I've got, I've got higher edges than I have flooding. It's just getting it right, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And I've only learned from watching other people. Right. Watching yeah. tutorials. Yeah. Um, well, Maria was saying before, she loves watching them. Yeah, they're and really mesmerising. They're very therapeutic. They're they're really, really, yeah. Yes. Yeah. They yeah. So I'm going to make a tiny snip on that. You can always go bigger. Yeah. So you just see just popping out the end. It might need to yeah. go a little bit bigger. So, excuse my nails. But, um, so we touch point, we touch it down on there. I might need to go a bit thicker on this. And we lift up. Don't worry about being far away from the cookie. Yeah, you see it's broken off there. Okay. Because the it's hole isn't, it's trial and error. Okay. The hole isn't big enough to keep the line going, but you could add on to that line. It will merge in. Yeah. So 
Fine. So you're lifting. Yeah. Moving, keeping the same pressure up. Holding the bag with your index finger. I do anyway. Just steadies it a, a little bit more. It's funny because the slower you go, the more it looks like you're shaking. <laughs> Just getting that level of control. Yeah. It's not that, it's also being confident to hold it. Yes. Because that's my that's issue. Fear. When I was watching you last time, Sarah, do it, and watching Michael do it, I'm thinking, where's it going to fall off? Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't. No, because you're keeping the pressure up. And also with this arm, the tendency is to think that you you wedge your arm on something, you lean okay. on something, but I find it's easier not to because you've your got arm the, up. Yeah. the fluid then. Yeah, I've you seen can people move do it. that as yeah. well. Yeah, so I just show it's you right that one wrong more. Me so I'm just hold, holding my index finger there. I'm not doing anything with it. It's just, oops, there you go. Sticking it down, move along. So you can see I'm lifting it quite far away from the yeah. jockey, really. But that does actually give you more control. I'll show you in a minute. Because look, when I've... Um, taught in classes a lot of people feel safer holding it nearer mm -hmm. and that's an easy um mistake to make really but you because you feel like you're more in control there but you're not weirdly <laughs> it's fascinating to watch there's a lot of people saying that they could they, they agree they could sit and watch yeah. Decorating being done for hours. Yeah. I think cookies is one of those things. People want to do them, but then they're just like... Yeah, a little bit afraid, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. 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 Like with anything, though, cake making, anything's frightening before yeah. you really... Actually try it. it. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to leave them to the side for a minute to cross over. So here's some I prepared earlier. <laughs> so this is, I did a very light cream... Um, and all I used is the fractal lemon yellow yep. with a tiny bit of orange in it, mm -hmm. um, just to make a very light cream colour, always like, like a, a pale pastry colour, right. really, okay. because I'm yeah. going to add the airbrush colour later. So this is the outline. So this is the toothpaste consistency. And I'll show you how to make that and the right consistencies later. So, I've got my circle this time. Yeah. And this is what I'm aiming for. Am I there or am I there? Yeah, perfect. So, I've decided to do it on the kind of the side and do a scalloped edge like you see on some yeah. mince pies. Or, I'm going to do two to, just to show you. Because you might worry, if you've not done cookies before, you might yeah. worry that you can't get that scalloped edge. So, is, sorry, is there any chance that you're going to do it here? Yes. Yeah. Sorry. That's fine. Right, so I'll start there where I'm going to come back to. So this time I'll just do the circle. So keeping that pressure going. You've got the guide always of the edge mm -hmm. as your guide. And then, excuse my slipping, and then following it round to about a quarter of the cookie. Excuse my, oh, I'll get tissue. Perfect. Okay. And then I'll do the scalloped one. Which is a little bit more to it. Okay. Great. So we start, hold down, lift up. And wiggle. <laughs> we I love it. <laughs> That's our technical term for tonight. Wiggle while Wiggle. you work. <laughs> Touch base. 
that's the great thing with this. Um, when you're starting off, you can touch base again at any point yep. and break off. Right, and if okay. you go wrong, you can get your scribe tool or your cocktail stick and just flick it off. Right. And start again. Brilliant tip. And then we're carrying on that wiggle. Just adds a bit of interest here, mince yeah. pie. Um, and in the advert, when we were, we were advertising this demo, um, the picture I did there, I actually just sprinkled granulated sugar on right. as well, while the icing was wet. Ah, uh, right, okay. So you can have that, you can add that extra little bit of texture. Yeah. So we've got the scalloped edge, so then the base of the mince pie would be flat. So carry on with that flat. Touch base a little bit there. You're in control. You can get the shape you want. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. Okay. Great. Do you feel you cannot breathe while you're yes. watching? Mm -hmm. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel we're all in this room holding our breath? Yeah. But it, it, it's so right, you're just mesmerised by it. Yeah, God, absolutely yeah. mesmerised yeah. by it. It's incredible. I'm going really to slow stuff for a bit more action. I was saying earlier, <laughs> I, was, um, I find it much more relaxing than watching cake tutorials. Yeah. I think they're both great yeah. to watch. But yeah. No, they're yeah. fantastic. I've got I was say, do you want a wipe? A little sniffle. Yeah, do you want me to get you a wipe? Just one second. Yeah. So just to very quickly recap, if you're interested in purchasing any of your products, um, head over to the website, which is sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. So everything's there for you in either brand, the search bar, or you can head over to the Facebook Live must-have section. Um, so everything on there is in the same section, and it's just easier for you to find things rather than troll through the website. So Maria's kindly put them in the same section for you. Um, if you've missed any of tonight's live or you can't watch us for the whole session, you can catch up when we're finished. So it will be pinned to the top of our Facebook page and it also goes over to YouTube when we're finished as well. So you can watch back at any point. Um, we, we keep all of our previous tutorials online for, every, for everyone to see at whatever point. Super. Okay, so we can go back to those carrots okay. to flood in because that's literally, you, literally all it takes. Like it's, not even five minutes, is no, it? No, no, it's slightly crusted over. Okay. This is my flat. So just to give you a reminder, Sarah has got a cold, like we've all had a cold. Mm. By the end of the day, she's committed to this live. She has committed to this live. So do remember, nobody is eating anything, okay? So these are for demonstration purposes only. Yeah. Don't need to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> right, you can see that flood because it's already spouted out the bag. So you can see that I'm holding it in the palm of they my can't hand. Can't see it on the floor, Sarah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you, so you were over here, so can you see that? Yeah, yeah. You need to get there. See on the camera. Okay. <laughs> <We're> on <there. laughs> so I'm holding it in the palm of my hand, gripping it with my thumb, hand over, or actually I'll stick my finger out and wrap the rest of the bag around it. That's just the way I'll, I hold it. But with that, you're pressing with your thumb and this finger here. Mm, okay. So, right, that is a little bit bloody. Do you want something to lean it on? Oh, that's fine. So there's... Agitate the bag as you go, still dispels any more air bubbles. You'll always get some. Mm -hmm. We will sometimes get some, you don't always. But that's quite a loose flood. And you're just pushing it up to the edge there. So it's just a case of continuing to fill the gaps and then you you can agitate. Is this where you would do it with a cocktail stick if there was any tiny weeny bits? Yeah. I'll show you. I can see one air bubble there. Oh, I'll, right. I'll okay. show you how to get rid of that. So quick, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Do you think with this consistency we can have two tone or not, or is that impossible? No, you can. You can. Um, you can do a technique called wet on wet. 
-hmm. So you can add pattern dots. I think I did that last time I did cookies. Yes. I did the roses. Ah, uh, yes. yes. Didn't show up very well because I was doing very pale pink <laughs> on white. But there, I don't know if you can see that, but there's there a tiny air it. bubble. And you just literally put that in. Sometimes wiggle it away, mm -hmm. make a little worm. So it's, it's just clearing it. And they show up as little grey dots, the air bubbles. You'll see them, you'll get to know them. Okay. Fantastic. So that's a lovely smooth yeah. head. Never Beautiful. try and pick your cookie up. Just <laughs> shimmy, yeah. shimmy them along. Yeah. Saying that, this is crusted a bit, so you're fine. Okay. Yeah, so. don't be ruining all that hard work by trying to pick it up straight away. Yeah. I have done that. Oh, many, I can imagine. Many a time. Yeah. And I'm sure there's plenty of people that have. Yeah. I'll just show you. See here. Don't need the support of your index finger on there when you're flooding. So much. Some cookies go this far away from that outline, and I'll show you what. Oh, right. Okay. Because there's, you know. If you're not confident about yeah. going right up to the light, it's not about actually confidence, it's just about preference and ways right. you do it. But say you've maybe built up too much, you feel like, oh, well, that's going to overspread, then just leave the outside line and then check on the outside and swirl nice and ah. push it over. How long does it take? To, to cross yes, over to cross. about 10, 15 minutes. Wow, I would have thought quite a lot longer because of the, yeah. how thick it is. But well, yeah, to completely, that's literally the top Just level. Just crusted, right, yeah. okay. But to properly dry, eight hours. You would leave overnight. it overnight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, this is what I did with this one. Yeah. So last night I did that, that's completely dry. Yeah. That's lovely and smooth, completely dry. Yeah. And I'll be airbrushing that in a bit. Okay. Gorgeous. So that. Um, so I haven't got one earlier, but what you can do with the carrot, can you see that there? Yeah. Is to use your outline and just draw you sort draw of with the little, yeah. the little lines that you get on carrots, um, which would be nice, but I'll airbrush those once they've crossed over a bit. Okay. Okay, so now we flood. No, what will do that? Close that away. And on to this one. So this is going to be our mug. This is the mug. And how long can you keep the royal icing or the cookies? Right, the royal icing, um, the cookies you can keep fresh in an airtight can, uh, box, airtight box, for about three weeks. Right. Oh, okay. They keep really a really lot longer good. than you yeah. expect and they taste fresh, they taste great. Um, but you can also freeze them. You can also freeze cookies once you've royal iced them. Right, okay. So you can do, with cookies, you can do it a lot in advance yeah. and everything, and it's fine. Um, but the royal icing, um, if I've made a batch, put it in the fridge. Yeah. It will last a week in the fridge, around a week, and then you can freeze that as well. Right, okay. You go on to put it in the freezer. So it's a lovely glaze on that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Pizza, yeah, it's isn't lovely it, yeah. and shiny, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so this is... Does it go matte matte glaze afterwards, when it dries? Does it go... Does it go matte colour? Should imagine it yes, does, it mats, it? it mats Shame up. Shame it doesn't yeah. stay shiny. I yeah, I mean, there are products around, but... Um, I think they're in America, but... Um, you can use the PME glaze. Yeah. Yeah. Or give it a or little shine bit of shine. a shine. Yeah. Mm. But there's not often you need it. You're... you're building up the um, excitement of the cookie yeah. with your uh, texture and whatever. So. Sorry for running in and out there, I've got John Mide on me. <laughs> 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 but 
where's this and where's that? Mm. It's a funny thing with men, they don't know where anything is, do they? Yeah. Men's I wonder eyes. why women always know where everything is, but men don't. Men's eyes. It's what, eh? it's what I say in our house. Have you looked with men's eyes or with women's eyes? Because <laughs> I can guarantee you find it when a woman looks. <laughs> So everyone, I hope you're enjoying this sh this uh, live tonight. I think what Sarah's doing is absolutely amazing. I know lots of you are mesmerised already, and I really shouldn't Ooh. talk while you're doing this, should I? Bit of wind. That one was real. <laughs> Good, you can blame Bit me, wind. Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop sitting here blowing wind then. <laughs> but see how easy that was. Yes. I quickly wiped it off with a scribe tool. Yeah. No yeah. biggie. It's no worries. I'll shut up while you do this bit then. <laughs> that's um, that's an air bubble in the icing. That's all that was. Oh, I thought you were going to allow me to take the blame for it. <laughs> no. Oh, that's very good of you. But it's good how you just knocked it off. Yeah. And started again. Because that's where people panic, isn't it? And that's yeah, why they like they watching these lives. Because mm -hmm. yeah. if they mess it up, they think they've got to start the whole thing, yeah. scrape it all off. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't have to wait for it to dry to knock it off like that either. No. So we're just we're gonna do that a little bit like that because we're gonna do something different with the top. Okay. All right, so that's one of those done. That's one we made earlier. Mm -hmm. So that's all dry. That's yeah, uh, probably about a week, dried. week or so old now. But it's still fresh, actually. Yeah, yeah. These I was going to say, there, Maria, get your eyes off them. <laughs> <laughs> actually, they did arrive in a container, didn't they? In an airtight container. Yeah. And um, should we let them into a little secret, Maria? You did try the little, uh, you had one of the snowflake did you? cookies last night. I did. You never told us. Oh, yeah, wow. Well. I can't remember what flavour. I don't know, but it was so yummy. <laughs> so really nice. I don't remember her saying anything to me about it. <laughs> Nor was I offered one. See, I've done that the other, different way round. Just do it. Yeah, but that's nice. So yeah, every you time just... you get a pint, set a pint. Is it a pint of beers these are going to be? Cocoa. Mugs. No, these are cocoa mugs. Oh, right. Unless we, you want to give I don't your... know why I'm thinking could, pints of beer. Well, you could you just like a pint. Yeah. 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 I thought it was like a tank of the beer or something. It does, but, yeah. But unless you want to uh, give your Santa Tank of the beer. <laughs> I was obviously brought up with a family who did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Left a can of beer outside. <laughs> All right, so just one more on that. Let me show you that. There again, I've got my that in my hand. It's very easy. People hold it like a pen. You bring your hand. Drop something in there, look. Yeah, just so people can see how you're holding your bag. That's yeah. All. Um, but very often people try and hold it like a pen, but there you're only pressurising in the middle yeah. and that's not going to work because you've got this, you know, out the side, it's not full pressure. So this way you're pressurising from the top. I love icing cookies. What do you prefer, cookies or cakes? Actually, cookies now. Because yeah. <laughs> um, they're massive so in America, relaxing. though, aren't they? Yeah, Americans yeah. love making them. Yeah. They have cookie con, and I've loved them. Wow. I mean, massive. It's like um, Cake International. Oh, really? But with cookies, yeah. Gosh. Yeah. I love everything that is made with icing, with our natural favourite icing sugars. <laughs> well, that's the beauty. I found nice, sugar it? crumbs, icing sugars, and then I was off because it was just like, well, wow, um, you know, it's not in America really. It's here though. Yeah. So we've got the sugar and crumbs, icing yeah. sugars, and a lot of people on on poor things are missing out because. I know. Um, We've got it here, and they said, well, "How can I fla flavour my royal icing?" And you can add vanilla and everything, but you've mm. got to keep it white. And then yeah. you've got to add your white um, colouring. Um, but the good thing with this being already white flavoured icing sugar, it's yeah. easy to use, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. But you can buy it in America. Anybody who's watching it, we've got you two can, stockists. Yes. We've got um, Sweet Chalet, Sweet Chalet, and Country Kitchen Sweet Tart. Yeah. And I bet when you add the vanilla flavour, maybe you are breaking the consistency because it's another liquid that you're adding. 
or yeah so it well liquid can like with anything with if you're using liquid color it can change the consistency but um i mean you're generally when you're with raw lysine you're adding a little bit of vanilla liquid you're doing yeah. it in the beginning then you're changing your consistency yeah. Yeah. for what you want after yeah. okay so they're done super this is that one little... having a handle that it's not having a d in the middle I was going to do that. <laughs> or was you just testing us? I was testing you. Oh, did I jump in there? Was we waiting for the audience to notice? Yeah. <laughs> so how's it going, Laura? Wonderful. We've got a brilliant audience. People are absolutely loving the idea. And I think the idea of having them as a Santa's plate for Christmas really nice, is a it? lovely yeah. idea. Something different, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I'll have to go and I've got a nice glittery pink plate to put them on. Oh, nice, oh, yeah. I'll yeah, have to go and find it. The lovely thing about cookies as well is getting different textures and using such a simple thing as granulated sugar. So this little snowflake cookie, I use that um, pastry cutter that everyone's got. Yep. Um, the scalloped edge, um, little minis. And then I literally did cross lines over there, little cross lines there, and little darts yep. off the end of them and went boom. In, in the sugar sugar oh that's oh, really that cute and that's yeah. so pretty yeah it is it's really lovely and like you say those are sort of standard shape cutters most people have got already yeah so you can you know go as far with the design as or as simple as you want so if you were worried about putting the detail onto the cookie if you had a fancy shape cut out in the first place it only needs a minimal amount of decoration exactly, exactly. I don't wonder what's lodged on there, but I'm going to try and cover that up. Remember, these aren't really eaten. We're now on the hunt for the pink plate. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> but we're going to get them all right for our Santa, haven't we? Yeah. I want a present this year, I never get one. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so we've got to there, but you still, if you're a first time cookie, you still don't know how to make the right consistency. So I'm going to quickly show you how to make a flood consistency. Okay. Brilliant. Oh, that coffee looks nice, Carol. Hey. That coffee looks nice. You haven't dropped something in it, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Just so you Love can have it. it. <laughs> Just so you can have it. Do <laughs> uh, you want a coffee, Sarah? No, I'm alright, thank you. I found my pink plate. Whee! There you go. We can put the biscuits on after. So this is some I made earlier, last night. So see, that is, I'll show you this consistency as it comes out. But that's had a, um, a mix this morning, just to incorporate, it, it doesn't separate, um, but it's just to mix it up better. So I'll show you that. So that's very thick, um, yeah. almost, that's outline consistency really. So it's quite like toothpaste, okay? Mm. Yeah. But to get your, f and that's really good for the outline or detail or, um, if I've got time, I've got these little jumpers, I'll show you a kind of right, iron okay. knitting way on there. What I use, what a lot of cookies use, I found and pinched their idea, is to use these little atomizer spray bottles, which has just got um, cool board water in it. Right. And just to let you know, it. those little plastic bottles, you just pick up at the little cheapy shop. Yeah. Yeah. You find them on the market or... Like travel sets and stuff. Yeah. yeah. You get yeah. Them that was it. Yeah. Set. Uh, B and M bargains might have them. Yeah. I've not seen them in B and M bargains, but they may yeah, have they do. them. Yeah. But I agree with you. Those little travel makeup sets that you yeah, take away for the airport. Them, yeah. 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 To be fair, if you go onto Amazon, just Google little. Yeah. What do you call them? Little pump spray bottles. Yeah, pump spray. Yeah. Oops. Go on, Maria. Wreck the joint. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, it was her own camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So is that under? Yep. Okay, so um, I don't measure out in sprays or whatever. I just do it until the right consistency. I have put three in then right. when we were chatting. So it needs some more. Two for there. 
I think I might be doing a session on watching cookies being decorated. I think I will. It's going to be in the new addiction. I know Sarah, it is. Sarah said it's, it's quite therapeutic. And, and so... to be fair, I've watched a couple and Maria says she loved it. Yeah. But sat here now, I'm thinking, hmm, yeah, I'm going to go to bed tonight. No. Instead of Coronation Street, I might <laughs> Google up a couple of cookies. <laughs> I don't think you're on your own, Carol. There's a few people <laughs> said that they can just sit for hours doing it. We'll have to start a new group on cookies. Okay, yeah. I watch um, many on Instagram. Right. Um, I'm on Instagram as well, by the way. There you go. Yeah. At uh, Effie's Pantry Cakes. Yep, I should please. call myself Cakes and Cookies now, really, because yeah, I am. That's true. Um, yeah, yeah. Definitely yeah. getting more into cookies. So there we've got Lusa. Ah, right, okay. Right, yeah, that's the running off the yeah, spoon, yeah. But that's still not quite flood, it's quite thick. That is really good for. That might be too sloppy for that even. But I'm going to do the cream on top of the cocoa mug. And that needs to hold its shape a bit, so I'll do that after. But. We're just doing the flood at the moment for the mug. I quite like the way it's sprayed and it really controls how much you put in, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Because if you yeah. try to use a teaspoon and a drop, oh no, yeah, a drop's too much, isn't it? Yeah. That's the whole idea why I came up with flavored icing sugars because when I was using liquid essences, I couldn't, oh. I couldn't put a teaspoon in. No. I always put more. And yeah. If you put more in, it's too intense. Yeah. And then you try and put that oh. more sugar in. Yeah. And then, and then you put more up. sugar in, and then, then you lose the flavour yeah. again. So then you have to go and put more in. Before you know it, you're all over the yeah. place, aren't you? Yeah. And there's nothing worse than a cake mix with too much flavour. Oh, and it's essence. that horrible, yeah. that tang of chemical. It's yeah. just yeah. not good. I like it when people say our sugars are a game changer. Yeah. I love yeah. them people. Yeah. Are those yeah. people watching, Maria? Oh, Laura? loads of those people are watching. <laughs> the the game changers ones. <laughs> sugar and crumbs followers, dedicated, hardcore watchers of our lives. And we really do appreciate yeah, you watching do. us week yeah. in, we week out, yeah. twice a week, sometimes three times a week. <laughs> so there you go. I'm shaking it, not because i am uh, got the shakes, but because I'm just showing you how quickly or how slowly it settles. Right. Some go, go by seconds, how many it does, but you soon get to know. I mean, that is settling. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice thick flood. You see, that's pretty much smooth. Mm, now, can't really see it with the light. Yeah, it's just a bit difficult to see because it's white yeah. on the light, that's all. Yeah. So, um, I'll colour this as well. Because we'll do the mug a different colour. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So I'll do a load of red, two more of red. That's it. I made the that was the outline red. What was that? Oh I know what I was gonna do that for. That was for the jumpers. Right, okay. So I can show you that. Yeah. But I'll make a nice... you know, Sarah. We yeah, feel very confident yeah, that you know what you're doing. Can't we see it? <laughs> <laughs> We're feeling confident, Sarah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We're all lovely and unique. <laughs> yeah. That's what everybody loves about the lives. See how it all goes, how it works. Because, you know, what happens in this kitchen is what happens in their kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, all human, we'll all have yeah. a laugh and make mistakes. Um, so this is Fractal Colours Vivid Red. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. I love the Fractal Colour range. It really is quite vibrant. Mm. There you go. Let's keep it at that because I've got another little... Not a surprise, but a little addition to the cocoa mug. So we'll keep it that kind of faded red, which is lovely. I think they do um, the colour intensifies, yeah. doesn't it? While it oh, it does. A little bit. But the thing is, yeah. we've used this for buttercream, and yeah. it really makes it go red. Yeah. In fact, in my last class, which was yesterday, yeah. <laughs> yesterday a lady used a red and it was it was amazing it was yeah. lovely and on the last cupcake bouquet class that a lady used the red she did um 
she was a Chinese lady on the last cupcake bouquet class and she did all red and gold oh, and it was fantastic yeah. and she used the fractal red. It is, it's very good. Yeah. I'm just going to add a little bit more water. So it is a case of just doing it slowly, playing yeah. around, not rushing, yeah. isn't it? Don't go in with six yeah. bars because you might suddenly have too much of a, of a bloody yeah. consistency, a loose consistency, and you want it. I think this is a little job that you need to do. You need to prepare your biscuits, so which you can do during the day, can't yes. you? Use your cutters and things like that. And then when you come to this bit, get rid of everyone. Get the music on in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can make up. Um, if I've got a batch of cookies to do, I make up all the flat, um, all the cookies. Obviously, bake them, blah blah blah, and um, make up all my colours in the bags ready, and then just put them in the fridge as they are. Mm. Or you can make up a batch of colours, make a, uh, a pod to go in a bag, and put them in the freezer, just like you do buttercream with, you know, cakes. We were scared of our freezers years ago, weren't we? Oh, yeah. I didn't use the freezer for hardly anything. I don't know. I think for some, I think when people got a freezer, they suddenly went mad and went to the freezer shop or everything they really? possibly could. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we ever put anything homemade in, though, did no. we? I think it was a case of, no. I've got a freezer, yeah. I need to go to the freezer shop, and I've got to fill it right to the top just in case we run out of food. Yeah. yeah. And then not realise it's only meant to be there three to six months maximum. Oh, and who's yeah. got a freezer with stuff that's been in there for a year? Easily, yeah. <laughs> it does happen. Yeah. <laughs> you keep looking at it, knowing full well you're never going to yeah, eat it. it out. Yeah. yeah, but you're not checking it out, isn't yeah. it? I know. Sorry. <laughs> I wonder how many of our audience do. They must do it the That's same. The we must, all of us must have freezers full of crap that we don't need. <laughs> Maria used to hide her delicious treats in the freezer. <laughs> yeah. From her, from her, from her ex. <laughs> <clears throat> Right, so there. So I've just put my bag in my um, glass. You'll have to do that from the back, Sarah. Pour it in so so that Maria can get to you. Like that? Yeah. That's that's right. Maria's a contortionist. I know that girl can get where the, where people don't want her to get. <laughs> well, now I sat down. I'm quite. Comfy. Yeah, you never get to sit down doing a live, do you? Yeah. In fact, I never get to sit down. You've got one each side of you, haven't you, Sarah? Yeah, that's what I also love about cooking yeah. making <laughs> when you're on your own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's nice quite good being able to just cut it. <laughs> what did you when say? you're on your own. <laughs> yeah, it's quite nice just sat here. I've got it? one in each ear. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be you getting a kick in each leg in a minute. <laughs> That too. <laughs> when he suddenly fall off the chair, you know why? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny, wouldn't it? It would be funny. Should we try it? <laughs> Let's keep her in one piece till the cookies are decorated. Yeah, trip her up after. <laughs> there you go. So this, as you saw, is reasonably thick flood. You still don't need to cut a massive hole because you're pressure piping. You're putting the pressure on, you've got the control. So in the palm of my hand again, wiggle, wiggle. All right, so there we go. So what I'm gonna do first, best to do this with a line icing because it just, I'm gonna flood this, but sometimes you get a crater, if you've got a thinner flood sometimes or for whatever reason, or it doesn't dry up quick enough, you get a little crater right. in small places. So it will just have a slight dip when it dries and, late, and you leave them thinking, oh, perfect, next morning. You're like, oh. Right, but okay. sometimes you can get away with that by <clears throat> just putting a line of outline, usually, but that should probably work. So I'm just going up to the line. I'm doing this with different colours just so it shows up easily. So you've got the white out outline here. It just shows up easily. It's kind of cartoony. It's Santa's mug. Yeah, because you could have done with this with the red outline, isn't it? Yeah, but like you say, it. yeah. it's yeah. A, like, a, like a cartoony feature, isn't it? Yeah. That's a good excuse. <laughs> I'll make it up as I go along, as you like. <laughs> Wing it on the night, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> 
There you go. And as you can see, I'm, as we can see better now, I'm kind of moving the bag as I go. I'm supporting it with my other hand. And you see how that second line of icing is merging into the first with ease. I just like watching that. that. Sat here, look. I'm down to have a go. Get off, let me have a go. Right. <laughs> you can finish off. Right, fills the middle. I think we got, might be getting asked for classes for this. Yeah. Oh. That's it, that's books hair back in again. Yeah. She's already been with us half a week. Yeah, I think after Christmas now. <laughs> <laughs> Can't have too much, much excitement <laughs> at my age. One go. I like being called young on Monday. You called me young. I haven't forgotten did I? that. Yeah, uh, yeah, you did. Did I? What did yeah, I say? Yeah, you said young lady. I've been called that. <laughs> well, you are younger than me, anyway. I think you're younger than me, aren't you? Fifty-one. Yeah, you younger than me. Yeah. Well, there you go. You look like a young lady, Just. anyhow. Thanks. Especially as I'm feeling old, knackered, and decrepit. <laughs> Everything's going wrong, breaking. So I'm holding it on the side, giving it a little shake. Just check that there's no... Yeah, you kind of snail trail any little bit yeah. you see. There we go, with this big gap there. Let's see. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Great, absolutely great. I like great. it, yeah. All right. I love it. Yeah. Right up to the edge. What flavour nice and sugar there did you use? Did you use your favourite one? Vanilla fudge? Um, no, I'll tell you what I used. Lemon and blueberry. And oh, it yeah. absolutely oh, yeah. you told me smells, that. Yeah. tastes, <laughs> yeah. what does I say, like clouds with yeah. sugar on them or something. Have you ever thought lemon and blueberry is like clouds? I've never heard that described. That's a nice I wouldn't mind, she said that. Such a yeah. amazing I know. She said that to me the other day. She said, I'm making it, really it with lemon does. and blueberry. It tastes like clouds. And I said, well, I've actually never tasted oh, a cloud. I just love a lemon and blueberry muffin. I love a lemon and blueberry muffin. Yeah. Yeah. But I do know that Sarah's favourite flavour is vanilla yes. fudge. Absolutely. And so I was thinking that maybe she'd done that. When I make that batch after I'm making it with banana split. So. They really are oh. lovely. Can I just wipe my fingers with it? Yeah. <laughs> I was unsure. What have we just done? I put the camera. Eh? She had put the camera. <laughs> what did you do? I put the camera. I put oh, the other no. camera. Thankfully, it's not on. Otherwise, oh, they shot. Were, otherwise, they will have all been shaking on their screens. Well, thankfully, it's not on because it's right. <laughs> You have to excuse us. If you, if you knew it's a good job you see those things, Laura. <laughs> we'll have to tell you what's going on because the reason it's not in shot is one, we don't need the camera. But even if we had flipped to the camera, the way that Maria sat down, it would have been a nice position to look down her top today. <laughs> on the very rare moment that Maria's wearing a cardigan and a top instead of a jumper. So yeah, if you if you're not new to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, you know this is always a light-hearted banter. We always have a joke and a laugh. Um, you know, it's a free tutorial, so we go with the flow on the Sugar and Crumbs Live. Our guest tutors and tutors that come in um, in the kitchen know what we're like in advance. You know, we're not um, disrespectful of them or their hard work or anything like that. We just like to have a laugh. Yeah. And Sarah does as well, so I'm sure she, she gets us. Yeah. As we booted craziness. her in here, we said, you enjoy having a laugh, don't you, Sarah? <laughs> oh, <Boot>. oh. <laughs> I just zone out. <laughs> just ignore it. <laughs> That's right. Well, now that now that you've made me look daft and it's convinced me you'd only been here twice on Monday, and I've now found out you've been here five times, and it's you who's daft. <laughs> well, I was thinking that though. I kept thinking to myself, I'm sure she's been here more than that. But it was the same with Julie Rogerson. I can't believe she'd only been here with us once previously. It was really crazy, you know. Actually. She only been here once before, this, she had, before last week. Before last week, yeah. You're joking. No, no. 
Isn't it funny? Do you know what it's it really is? Strange. Do you agree with us, Sarah? I think we make you so comfortable when you're here. You, yeah. you stay the night, you're here all day prepping. I think that's yeah. what it is. Don't want to go they're prepping, <laughs> Got to look prepping, after myself. They're prepping, <laughs> they're prepping, they get fed, they stay all night, we take them out for breakfast. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably yeah. what it is. We spend a lot of time with them. I was going to say we we see the guests for a couple of days rather yeah. than just for the evening. Yeah. So I think that's probably what it is. Because yeah, there's a lot of work goes into the Facebook lives. Yeah, a hell of a lot. Yeah, and there's lots here. We'll get fed, bed, yeah. got friends, go home. I'm all on my own. I'm very happy. <laughs> On your own. On her own. I am though. We're all going to be crying in a minute. So. Go on then, tell us what you talk about in Cake Decoration and Sugar Craft magazine then. Let's tell ah, us about now, that. Well, that would be telling, but I am talking about my previous life before cakes. Yeah. Okay. And how I got into cakes and um, yeah. So. And do you tell them everything, Sarah? Like what you've told me? I miss out certain things. But not, I do you tell... know why I said that? Because they're all going to be messaging you. What did she tell me? I know. Oh, no. <laughs> but did she gossip? Yeah. I Secret. mean, on Monday when we did the live, my daughter said, oh, she could write a book, a book on it. Yeah. And it is. It is my kind of life story. Yeah. Obviously, I just quickly go over it in the magazine. Yeah. But um, it's, yeah. No, but Let's I think... say it, it was colourful. I would think it's actually good for people to understand how we end up on some of these things. Yeah. Like, you know, like, you know, not everybody goes to cake decorating, but hobbies actually do take people's minds off yes. things and gives them focus, doesn't it? Yeah. And you've chose cake decorating, which it is fantastic. Happened. I mean, I always did cakes. Us. Yeah, it is. And you met me. <laughs> do you know what? Well done. Absolutely. We're very chuffed to have met you. Your life is brighter. Yeah, absolutely. And the audience love having you here. They were very pleased to Thank see you on Monday. Thank you. That was so lovely. All oh, the comments. The lovely. like and share, Laura. Yes. Yeah, I did say it before. So just a very quick reminder. Um, we are running a new competition. So if you like and share our Facebook Live, um, we will pop your name into a prize draw and there is a £25 Sugar and Crumbs gift voucher up for grabs. So um, we did a previous draw on Monday. So on a Monday, if you like and share that session, we will draw the winner on the following Monday. And again, if you like and share our Thursday session, we will follow. We will pick the draw on the following Thursday. So we have a draw to be picked tonight for last Thursday's winner. Um, and Monday's winner, Francis, did get in touch with us and her voucher has been dispatched. So um, yeah, if you, if you are a winner, just drop us a message. Um, you can Facebook Messenger us, call the office, or use the info email address as long as we get your details. Um, that's the most important thing, and then we can sort the voucher out for you. So it's a, a nice £25 bonus before Christmas for some mm. goodies. Gorgeous. A little bit of a treat to yourself. I just have a little brain wave Go on. me. Okay. Yeah. Could you pass me the dust, shiny dust? These? Yeah. Okay. These? More glitz. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And I know as on Monday, everyone likes all the glitz. Oh, I'm absolutely. Gonna... So this is a Sugar Flare Finishing Sparkle. It's available as is, so it's more of a, like a white silver hologram, and then there's a gold version as well. Mm-hmm. And I'm just gonna do, as that's wet, that way, isn't it? Yeah, but you'll need to come closer. Yeah, this one. Yeah? Yes, perfect. Ooh. Beautiful, glitzy. Absolutely. Cocoa mm. mug. That is cute. The Santa. Obviously, this is at risk of going on everything else, but oh, this wow. is just showing you what. <laughs> Look at that. Really cute. That's a lovely effect. Okay, silver on the next one, because we like to change things up. <laughs> I'm not a glitter girl. You I not? do not like glitter, no. generally. To be honest, but... I, I did avoid Carol at all costs at the show when That's she was, true. Oh, I, I dunked, love the guitar. I was ducking, I was diving, honestly, just to get away from her. <laughs> you you have to straight. to make the angle, has to be 90. Oh yeah. Which is hard because this is flooding. Oh, it's still wet. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. But that's done it. Yeah. We had a glitter. Look at this. I know. It's it's nice. The glitter is out. Oh, have you got the glitter out? Yeah. Woohoohoo! We love this glitter, don't we? Yes. 
Mm. Yeah. I mm. love them, don't they? Do you not feel that they've come to life? Yeah, they're gorgeous. Start to come to life, haven't they? Yeah. Right, so now I'm going to flood these mince pies. Obviously, I've done that, but I'll just I'm looking show forward you. to this. Flooding. It's boring. Just flooding. It's boring. It's not boring. <laughs> it's not. I don't think it is. No, it's actually nice to just sit down and yeah. take our time. It's not. I was joking. I love flooding. It's great. It's colouring in, you know. Yeah. So what I'll show you to do, I'll do this bottom part first, just because, yeah. Get up to that edge. Back, wiggle, wiggle. I mean, it is colouring in, and it's really, it's so therapeutic. And that, when I'm talking about my life story and everything, it has been a therapy. Yeah, so cake decoration and sugar craft magazine and um, we've been lucky enough to have been in it for three times on the trot which was um, October November and December and mm -hmm. um, if you want to buy the magazine you can actually subscribe to them for five pounds and you get the first five editions for five pounds after that you then pay for a monthly subscription mm -hmm. so if you sign up now you'll get Sarah's magazine uh, the, you'll get the one that Sarah's in and there's somebody else in it I know Somebody else was Julie Rogerson's Julie. in oh, it. Julie's in it, yeah. Yeah, next next month. I'm not sure if we're in it. I've not been asked to write anything this month, but you never know. They know me well down there. They could have put something in. Yeah. But having said that, I think it's highly unlikely because they've not asked me to proofread anything either. You were in that email Monday the night. Was I? Yeah. Well, maybe, yeah. Maybe I've got a surprise so bit of content. Hmm? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but anyhow, so... Um, but do pop down there, do go over to it. You can go over to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, go to shop, drop into shop, Cake Decoration Sugar Craft Magazine. That will take you a direct link through to their website. And all you do is sign up with them, pay you five pounds, and for the next five months, your magazine is gonna pop through the door for no additional pennies. After that, you've signed up for um, a monthly subscription and you're entitled to cancel it. There's no... Um, what do they call it? There's no contract or. contract or anything like that. But I'm sure, and this is why they do it, that once you've got your first five magazines, you'll enjoy looking forward to it that much. You'll want to keep it, which is great. Fantastic. I love that magazine. Yeah. And is. do you know what I like about it? It's good content, isn't it? It's yeah. Not, and it's um, it's content that you feel that you can do, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Definitely. Great. It's very clear. And it really is a magazine that really gets you involved. There's a subscribers bit, there's all sorts. Mm. You send in your own stuff and well that's how I got in. That's mm. how I did it. Mm. Just uh, sent in the cake. So um so I've done those little bits. Crusting over takes about ten to fifteen minutes and that's okay. literally <clears throat> the top layer. And that doesn't mean that's safe to do a whole load of stuff on, but it I mean, for an, after an hour, you can probably paint on things. Right. Um, but after 10 minutes, it just means that you can pipe next to it. Right. And it okay. won't merge in together. Yeah. I think that's the best way of describing it. So yeah. I'm not going to do that now. <laughs> yeah, because you've only just done it. Yes. 10 minutes haven't gone. No. We know it feels like 10 minutes haven't gone. <laughs> it isn't. Just to let you know. <laughs> so... What I thought I could do with these, because these are dry, yeah. I could do a little fondant heart, because you can mix fondant with royal icing, that's fine. I should pass over the tool. Thank you. So this is the Katie Sue. It's their knitted mat. Small girls' speech. Oh, it's their cross stitch yeah. mat. Cross stitch. It? Looks like knitted really nice. It? it does look nice knitted, mm. but it'll be nice because I'm going to use a very small cutter on this very small. Well, they're going okay. to see it a lot next year because January, I don't really ask a lot of guests to come down. So I'm actually going to be doing a lot of cake decorating myself. And I think that Laura, Maria and I need to bash our heads and start looking at all these things and start using themselves. So hopefully you're going to still follow us when it's me every week. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Right, this little cutter set. Do you want that big? I was thinking you wanted the tiny ones. No, because I want the knitting to show up a little oh, bit. Oh, right, good. Um, so what's this These are fine. These are by Fine Cuts. So Fine Cuts is a department uh, brand on our website. Um, there's loads of different um, cutters that they offer. Um, so these are the hearts 
um, there is a curved heart set as well, but it, this is just personal yeah. choices yeah. to yeah. what you decide, decide to use. Yeah. Um, so this these are on this the guy who makes cuts. these, what would you like, the red? The, the guy who makes these called David hand makes these and he's got a full range of cutters and they are beautiful. They're they gorgeous. don't They don't rust. And we've got a nice selection of them, of rose cutters, leaf cutters, yeah. and they are the very, very best. These are not from China. They are made in the UK. You are going to pay a bit more because they're made in the UK. And um, But he, he is an independent business. And he makes them all himself. I mean, just look at the detail there. I don't know whether you can see that through the bag there. Can you see that through the bag? Mm -hmm. Let me just oh. open the bag. Oh, that's just that's the demon. Oh, we can show the other. Yeah, that's more detail. Thank yeah. you. I mean, look how delicate the work is on these. But if you buy a fine cut tool, they are really the very, very best. I mean, look at it when we get there, how small they are. Yeah, that <laughs> middle one is tiny. I oh, know, it's so cute, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Wow. They're cute, they are gorgeous. Yeah, like Lovely. it. Lovely. So, and he does rose cutters, leaf cutters. We've got the sunflower cutter. Yes. The oblong garret frill cutter. And I've got to be honest, I'm, I'm not joking. In January, I've not, I think I've only got one or two guests in January. So, it is going to be me. And what I plan to do, which Maria and I have talked about, and we're going to have to rope Karen and Laura in as well, is that we're going to have to get our heads together and start doing a lot more cake decorating for you. Mm -hmm. And also using the sugar and crumbs flavoured icing sugars as well. Yeah. So, you know, let's show you how to bake with them. Let's show you how to make cookies with them. Let's show you how to make all sorts of things with the sugars and the cocoa powders yeah. and, um, and do some cake decorating. Mm -hmm. That'd be a task, won't it? Yeah, it'd be interesting. Yeah. That was, well, an interesting nice. way, that was an interesting way to uh, <laughs> use the mat. I've never seen it used like that I before, Sarah. I did everything Sarah. the wrong way round. Where's that little part on now? Oh, sorry. I've, I've got rid of it. Oh, no, no you had it. One. Is it. Is it back in the bag? No, no, no I put it, it in the bag. I've not taken it, you had it. How can we lose it? <laughs> I've only picked up my arts. I got out. There's no other heart there, there, is there? Right, Sarah, go Missing on. heart. Oh. You have got it. <laughs> Sorry. Carol had it. Sorry. Well, the, the thing was, I was so overwhelmed the way that you rolled that out on the cross stitch mat. <laughs> Just forgot myself. <laughs> I do everything a bit back to front. We're, we're not going to say anything. Did you notice? We're not saying anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love being me. Yeah, we've had you here for a week. We've had enough time, you know. <laughs> Back to front as well, I forgot maybe. what I'm doing. The world would be boring if we weren't all different. <laughs> I just love that. Look at that. Look. It's, just, it's just brilliant, isn't it? But how Not cute is that? Yeah. yeah. Look how cute that, that really heart is on there. Yeah. Should I do one in that shape as well? Yeah, do that little baby that. one. Oh, that little baby. I think I fell in love with that baby. Would you really like to nice show them how you can level Just show that again. Just so we can see the cross oh, stitch great, on isn't it? it? Yeah. There we go. You can zoom in, you see. Would you like to show them the technique of, of doing this, Sarah? Oh, I can't do the same thing twice. <laughs> can't remember what I did. <laughs> Just thought it was a new technique. We should show them okay. how to do things. So you roll out this your sugar This is a new paste. technique. I'm doing where I'm looking. <laughs> and then you bash them out on the top. <laughs> did I bash it or did I roll it again? I rolled Hold it again. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And then you think, where is it? Oh, it's on the <laughs> <laughs> right. I've just never seen that technique before. That's unique to sugar and crumbs. There you go. <laughs> Copyright that. <laughs> Gosh, this is a small heart. <laughs> we could put it on the jumper. Oh. Hmm. Don't want to ruin me. Maybe I've got some. Uh, yeah, where's your scribe? Yeah, scribe, yeah. There he goes. Such a lovely shape. You know what I'm going to do with that? Delicate, look on there. 
not going to mm. push too hard no, because that still is wet, isn't it? Mm. wet. But that that's just like that. Does yeah. it did. And it's amazing. Slightly. Even that little heart's picked up the detail yeah. of that cross stitch as yeah. well, hasn't it? Yeah. So cute. Oh, let me look again. Close up. Yeah, it really has, hasn't it? I like that, Sarah. Well done. You can come back. <laughs> <laughs> I did the class with a um, I don't family. know if she's coped with me all week. I've driven nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the other way around, really. But you found unique and good ways of doing things, haven't you? Oh, we found some unique ways. <laughs> Wait till John hears of this trick that we've done today. So off Sarah and I trot to go and get something to eat earlier. Gets out the car. Yeah. I'm distracted by something. Go on, Sarah, you carry on. What do you need? Uh, the mat again, I'll do another oh, heart. Yeah. You're gonna sh you mean you're going to show me again? I'm going to show you. Yeah. So uh, I'm distracted. Don't think nothing. Off we go to the cafe. We've gone for about an hour, would you say, Sarah? Yeah. We come back and hour, I say, why is the lights on on my car? Oh, Don't know. So we're walking back. I went, why is the engine on on <gasps> my car? I've only gone and got out of the car because I've been distracted. I've <laughs> left the engine running. I've walked off, I flashed the car because I remember flashing the lights. It's not locked the car. And we've been in a cafe for over an hour. Oh How nobody God. and it's a keyless car. How nobody has jumped in the car and drove off. We don't know, do we? No, we don't know. <laughs> oh and I'm blaming Sarah. That's how my week's been. I am lucky am I, could you imagine? Which oh what's size medium one? size medium one. Medium yeah. one. Wow, that is like unbelievable. That's too small. Yeah, it is unbelievable. I was flabbergasted. Yeah. We couldn't believe it. It I... really was a bit one of those spooky moments. We've had yeah. to come back and test it on the drive, take the keys out, go for a walk to the bottom of the drive. While Sarah tried to open the door, it kept opening. Yeah. Yeah, I can only not. think that if anybody had walked past and saw nobody was in there, they would have thought. There's so someone was sat in the back. It's a prank. With dark windows. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. yeah. And they were on. Yeah. 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 That's all I can think. But how bad. Good is that? hour. <gasps> Engine running. Well, so either it's that or my Alzheimer's has kicked in because I definitely can't freaking remember anything these days. No, it, that was a definitely. I witnessed that. So it's been a busy week. Not that yeah. you can rely on me for <laughs> this <laughs> busy week. <laughs> wow. So I think I might not go out in the car anymore. I think I'll stay in. <laughs> So there's three. And what we'll do to make this a really gorgeous. And by the way, I haven't told John Christmas what goes on in the kitchen stays in the kitchen. Yeah, I was gonna John say. John knows do nothing you really about want me it. To tell that one? The one sure thing is I know John does not watch Facebook lives. <laughs> so what goes on in the kitchen, do not be private messaging him and telling him. <laughs> you know the rules. <laughs> Okay, these jumpers are there. I really like these heart cutters. Yeah, they're cute. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? And that's so easy. This is what I was saying before. If you're scared about putting additional details on, yeah. if you flooded them, let them dry. Yep. To mix up with the sugar paste is a really nice idea because nice. it's just that layering and the texture. Small texture. Really yeah. nice. Yeah. On that other one there, can you put like a <laughs> neck on it? On the, you know, your other jumper one? Oh yeah, I'm going to do the detail. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm going to really make it look knitted now. Oh, are you? Yeah. Ooh, about this idea. <laughs> Add to this one, and it may seem that I'm random and don't know what I'm doing. No, we like random, Sarah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. There was nothing more random than us looking at the car today. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. I always flick my bits on the floor. <laughs> Sorry, Cal, but um, don't you worry. don't want them to end up in your No. Ocean. No. Come on. <laughs> oh, okay, that's gone a lot thicker than I imagined. What do I do with that? He's just trying it out a little bit. 
Right, I'm going to do, um, um, no, the um, bag. I'm going to put this in another bag to do my detail oh, well, because this one, you're not going to have okay. it thinner. That was the flood, so I can't oh, use, right, the flood. Can't use the flood. Yeah, but I'll, I'll use this for a ribbed effect. This is one way of doing a ribby jumper. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Pleasures of having a cold. <laughs> oh Thank you. Blush, blush. Oh, I don't know why I'm holding that for. <laughs> so this is a bit thicker. This is the thicker outline. I sing, yeah. Right, and if you get a flicky bit up like that, just popping down with the scribe. Or you can always have a little damp paintbrush. Yeah, to touch yeah. onto it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So How much quite good, just like yeah, that, doesn't it? Just the detail, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but I'll just show you in here. He's mucking about with that. Cut that off. Why are you swapping it back? Just so that I get a finer point. Right. Because I couldn't, for some reason, get in my clumsiness. Oh, I see. It's very tiny. Okay. Okay, oh, well, nice yeah. fine line there. Yeah, fine. Yeah. It's a difference, isn't it? Yeah. Who needs? Yeah, do another one. Yeah, I'll do that. You come in. I really apologise. I've got a cold. I feel a bit. Yeah, it's all bad. right. Everybody else has got a cold. I was barking my guts up here for the last few weeks. I'm only right. actually just feeling normal. Down, lift up. Oh my goodness, you have to hold oh, your breath. I know. Is it all yours then? Yeah. Is it all yours, Sarah? No. You're used to it now, aren't you? No. Um, and what shall I do on there? Shall I put some hearts on? Shall I pipe some hearts? Yeah, what have you think? Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Let's get you on there, do it on tissue. Hearts look as if they'd be hard to do. Whatever you want to do. Do you remember the hearts wet on wet I did? Yes. Um, and, and it's you just literally pulled, two blobs and pulled pull down them with down. a stick. Yeah, yeah. So if anyone missed Sarah's previous Live of the Cookies, it is available on YouTube. So our YouTube channel is Sugar and Crumbs with Nifty Nozzles. If you go over and find us on YouTube, subscribe to the page, and you can receive notifications from us um, <coughs> when new videos are uploaded, and you can see okay. all of our previous lives. So, um, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. the notifications on. So if there's new videos posted onto YouTube and you've got your notifications for YouTube switched on, you actually do get a little pop-up. Um, like I say, we don't delete any of our previous lives um, on YouTube and you can watch them all back at any time. And that's the same as what we were saying before, it gets addictive because you see one and then you think, oh, well, what else have you got? <laughs> you that's see another one, one and then you see another one. No, John says to me, what are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> it's very rare I actually get to watch anything, yeah. but when you do... Well, there is also a playlist on our YouTube, your YouTube channel with all the Facebook lives, so yeah. that is the yeah. easiest way yeah. to, yeah. to watch Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, if you go to our YouTube channel, you'll see that there is a playlist there and that will just play all our videos one after the other. Stop be, and pause and go back when you want. Be prepared for a long day though. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's, what is there, about 400 videos on wow. there? Oh, well, we've been doing they Facebook... They are pretty addictive. We've been yeah. doing Facebook lives now for three years in January. 
It's quite good to go back to the very first one to see how we first started. <laughs> oh God. And well, it's I've good to go like along it. to see when John was on the cameras <laughs> and then Maria joined us, then Laura joined us, and then John left. Well, he got booted out. <laughs> <laughs> then Karen's come along. And it's nice to see all the different guests grow with us as well, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Sarah, that's amazing. I, I never would have imagined you to do it that way. No. But that is so oh, no, interesting. Can, can I have a look at... Oh. Did you see how I moved the bag yes. out? I was moving along gradually, but I was literally just going backwards and forwards. Tiny, yeah. 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 And that's why I love cookie cooking, because it is so... I won't, I won't say easy, because that sounds like, a, you know... Um, but once you've got the basics... Yeah, that's what I mean. You can do I anything. I say it's with enjoyable. It. It's relaxing. Really I think. enjoyable. It's yeah. actually relaxing watching it's for some weird reason. Amazing. I'm going to make myself another cup of coffee. I'm enjoying myself. Oh, I'd love one, please. Hey? Thank you. Was love that a big thing you gave me before? Then? <laughs> no, it wasn't before. But now I really, it is now. I really fancy. What well, now? You give me this big pile of tissues and wipes and everything else. <laughs> I'm sat at <in> ten. <laughs> hey. Oh, you were. <laughs> that's so cute. Really, really cute. Ooh, there's a rib round the bottom. Anybody else want to bring? No, thanks. No, thank you. How are we doing for time, Laura? We're on 121. Oh, we're right, doing okay. an hour and 20, so we're all right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how's everybody enjoying the live? Fantastic. Loads of comments, people saying that they just love to see different techniques. And what we also said on Monday, and I say it all the time, show us what you've done. So take Sarah's live as inspiration. Yeah. You've got the basics. Um, I'm sure plenty of you have had a go at making cookies, but you're not necessarily use royal icing um, to decorate them. So have a go. Let us see what you've done. Um, pop them on our community page. It's great to see people who have had a go at it. Um, and, you know, again, like we said on Monday, we've got the basics. Put as much or as little sort of twist on it as you want in terms of the design um, or what you use to decorate them. Um, so, you know mix it up with royal icing and the sugar paste or just go with sugar paste you know you can there's loads of different methods and techniques that we've covered in the past and sarah's covered loads of things from her previous cookie tutorial and again this evening there's loads of ideas for you to use and um, we have we did have quite a few people saying you know when you said before about them keeping for a few weeks it's perfect to do them yeah. next week for example for yeah. christmas and they'll store for over new year or as a gift you know Really nice to have a person with everyone over Christmas and you're going to hide in your own room. <laughs> well, do you know what? Sometimes that usually happens on Christmas night. Now, yeah, it? Christmas day, you have a big <laughs> argument. <laughs> had enough of each other. But it's really nice that in between Christmas and New Year, some people are off work and you kind of have those funny days in between where you don't really know what to do with yourself. So, you know, if you've got gifts, baking gifts for Christmas, have a go at them, post them on the Facebook page, let us have a look on the community page. It'd be really nice to see what everyone's done. The twilight zone. Yeah. That, it's really, isn't it, that horrible. weird period. You don't yeah. really know what day it is or what you're meant to be doing. Some people no. obviously do go back in work for those few days. But I think it falls a bit funny this year with terms of bank holidays and weekends. So it's a bit of a, um, bit of a funny time, isn't it? You're yeah. not quite sure what to do with yourself. <laughs> Can I have a cup of coffee, Laura? No, I'm all right, thanks. Sarah, do you want a cup of coffee? Yes, please. Right, right. Oh, no, no, so there's your rib again, done a different way. I love that, yeah. It's really open. nice. Just like necessary, do you have some sugar? No sugar, thanks, sweet enough. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just literally outlined the pattern. Yeah, outside, um, afterwards or before. You know. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You just do your own. Yeah, and obviously as you get a bit more experience, you get a bit braver with it, I think. Yeah. Some things don't work, some things do. Mm -hmm. If you add too much water, is there any way to fix it? If you add too much water to the icing, yes, yes, you just thicken it back up with more icing sugar. That's so cute, isn't Gorgeous. it? Gorgeous. I love yeah. that method. Um, I think I saw somebody ask about the recipe side. Just oh, we so off. we mentioned on or Monday, we brewing brewing off. Off. <laughs> <laughs> we mentioned on Monday, um, we've got a recipe website because we use the cocoa powder on Monday 
Um, so if anyone's interested in any of the recipes that we've got, the sugar cookie recipe and the shortbread recipe that we've used is on there as well. So if you go to sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.com, um, there have been a few changes to the recipe website, but everything is there. There is a drop down um, for you to search by category of the different recipes that I'm we've really got. It all back and to it's normal. all back to normal because there was but a few. She's going to change it next week. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> there was a few questions on Monday. It, it, it changed from what people were used to, but all the recipes are there for you to view. There are hundreds of ideas how to use the sugar, um, sugar and crumbs, icing sugar, and also the cocoa powders. And like I said, the actual um, cookie shortbread recipe that Sarah's used is on there as well. Um, so head over there, like I say, all, all of the recipes have been tried and tested with our products, but the other way that you need to think about it is just because we've done a blueberry cookie recipe, for example, doesn't mean you can only use it with a blueberry flavour, you can use any, any flavour that you want, mm. so it's totally down to personal choice, and there's loads of ideas on there. Yeah, Maria is um, playing with the websites at the moment, so what she's actually trying to do is, is put the Facebook Lives on all the websites so on all the wish lists so like on on sarah's wish list when you go to the wish list if you want to go back next week yeah you'll be able to see the live there or if you're shopping and watching then yeah. you can do that and um, and then she wants to put them on the recipes and you know just give everybody ideas yeah. and stuff like yeah. that so we're trying to utilize everything that we can yeah. sarah that looks amazing it looks, it looks amazing. It looks That's just kind of a heart knitted yeah. effect. You're yeah. doing a blob one side, pulling down, blob yeah. the other. Um, and then you can do a zigzag. It's just to make it look like the ugly Christmas yeah. jumpers. Traditional jumpers, yeah. yeah. But everyone actually loves them. Yeah. I don't know why. I've seen a lot and I don't like them. Oh, Maria. <laughs> I think that's the point, though. They're yeah. as ugly as possible. Yeah. <laughs> I remember a few years British ago, I was in a store, yeah. I think, I, I don't know which store I was in, I was in some store, and the guy was wearing a Christmas jumper, and I just looked at him and so like, why? What? what? Yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> why are you wearing that stupid jumper? And um, he, and then, so I asked him, I said, not why? <laughs> and then that, now, I mean, this must have been three years ago, four years ago, and then like, now everybody wears Everyone. that jumpers, don't they? Yeah. And they're all over the supermarkets. There's so many yeah. of them. I wonder where it came from. I know, the tradition. There was Bridget Jones. Yes. Turning up in Bridget Jones with a snowman yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. And then he had one on. Sorry, it's my favourite thing. I love it. But there, um, there's, there's got to be sort of a tradition of where it came from, hasn't there? Yeah. That's so cute. Think, but in fairness, I do think it's quite nice because you don't have to pay a fortune to get dressed up now on Christmas Day. I know, yeah. <laughs> Um, right, so I'm going to go back to the flood here, and then Carol can um, make her royal icing oh, once I've done this. Make, you know, you're in control of mixing your colours. You can make this more orangey, more goldeny, yeah. you can do whatever you like. And this is all I'm trying to show you is that you can do what you want to do. Yeah. I mean, I just thought this idea with the Santa plate. It's a it's a great idea. It really you is. Can... I mean, my mind was little, then that. Oh. You'd already eaten half a fridge, I know. and then by that time of night. <laughs> yeah, or oh, going to bed and remembering you've not took a bite yeah. out of the mince pie. <laughs> yeah, I've run down. Then do your tea. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's after nine, so hopefully not. But yeah. this way, I'm half a likely yeah. little cookie. Yeah. Santa was well if you didn't share it with him. Yeah, Santa will enjoy cookies, I'm sure. I can be your Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I can Santa see Maria. Maria. I see Maria doing a swoop in there. Saint Maria. <laughs> so do you need them to dry for a little bit now? They all crossed over, yeah. They need yeah. to just crossed over. Um, I mean, I am going to airbrush that one, and I'm going to try 
at the same time, I'm going to try an airbrush tip okay. and see if it works. It should do because it's only a light yeah. thing of done. Of, um, see a couple of air bubbles there. Oh no, I've put red in it. Okay. You can't see it. You can't really see them. You might not be able to see them on camera, but say, they okay. show up I as grey. I can't gray. even see the right. bubbles here. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that, you see? No. No? <laughs> you dip in and you can see that hole. If you go down to the bottom and touch the cookie, agitate it. And it and it'll Just get it'll rid of it. Up. Oops, I'm touching the side. Yeah, you formed a lump. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what I call doing with that is snail trailing it away. Trail it away, don't touch it very That's very a nice way lightly. of saying it, isn't it? <sighs> And then it kind of self levels out. Yeah. Another shake. So we'll quickly flood that one. What oh, haven't I flooded? Oh, that one for some reason. Yeah, let's do that one in cream to give it a different colour. Cream? Yeah, or an orange. Yeah, lovely. I can, make it, um, I can make that look like a jumper. What? A the, cream the... knitted mug. Can cream knitted mug? Yeah. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh, right. Let's have a look at that then. Well, you know, with. Um, Mugs, yeah. cocoa mugs, how yeah. they have like a little wrapper, a holder, yeah. Yeah. and they're in knitted wool. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, okay then, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of, um, and cookies in America do a lot uh, with, there's a way you can do it. You know, much like I did the board on Monday, mm -hmm. but a very finer way of doing it, um, you can make it look like felt. So you mm. know you have those felt holders yeah. for mugs. Yeah. You can get your royal icing slightly um, before it quite crusts. Just pick it up Gently. with your knife, yeah. and then you sprinkle icing sugar over, yeah. and then you tap it off, and you've got it looks like felt. Fantastic. A bit more to it than that. Look at it. Yeah, that. That's a little bit more to it than that. Yeah. A little yeah. bit more to it than that. Pretty good. Right, shall I make this royal mix then? Yeah. Yep. Okay, and I'll then. sit down and have some coffee. Yeah, yeah. Coffee. I'll flood that then. I'll just get all my stuff out the way then. Don't be drinking my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> right, so am I out the way enough for you? Oh, you can say that, you're fine. Okay then, um, can you see me okay now, Laura? Or do I need to get this moved yeah, out the way? Gonna, flood that one Should we just move this, pull this back? Mm -hmm. Not that Should we just pull that back? Yes, yes. Oh, we can turn that round, can't we? It won't turn. Huh? Not that easy. There we go. That do won't it? Well, in a minute, when I can see your face. Okay. <laughs> and is that in view there? This mix is easy. Now there's several types of royal icing mix. So you can make it with um, icing sugar, egg white. You can actually make what you can actually um, just Google royal icing mix and make your own mix. Um, there's loads of different ways and there's easy ways. We sell um, a silver spoon royal icing mix. So you could have a look at that, use that. So there's lots of different ways. But I wanted to show you about this. So this isn't the way you have to make it. But I just want to show you about this product because it just makes royal icing so easy. So it is quite expensive, but it makes lots and it makes enough to cover five large cakes. So there's plenty in here for you to last a long time. Uh, the best before date is long as well. So, you know, but only buy it if you do like, enjoy use it, making royal icing. Um, I don't want you to have it sat on your shelf for years, even though it will be fine because it's a best before. You know, I don't want you panicking that you've wasted all that money, but it's a great mix. So what we're going to use here is, I've already got it pre-weighed. So we're going to use 250 grams of flavored icing sugar and I'm using banana split. So, sorry, sorry. So I'm gonna use banana split. I'll just tip that in there. Oh, what I didn't want to happen, the little cloud burst. <laughs> so 250 grams of the royal ice, uh, the flavored icing sugar. And I already got my warm water out, which we only need 45 mils, but I'm now gonna go and do it again because it's cooled down while we've been waiting because Sarah didn't get on with it. <laughs> so I'll just go get another batch. <laughs> so, uh, and I'll start again. <laughs> Thankfully, oh. I've just had the kettle on, so I'll just pour half of this way. I love it here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Look how you, we treat you. <laughs> <clears throat> so you need 45 mils of this. Mm -hmm. And Laura, can you pass me, oh, Laura, can you pass me that little um, bowl back, please? Yes. Yeah. So where is the icing? Sorry, Sarah. All right. Now this, you only need 16 grams. So from the 16 grams, is that a clean spoon? Yes, it is. Just checking I got it out before. So from the 16 grams, let me zero it. So there's 257 grams in this bag. So when you only need 16 grams, it's gonna go a long way. So let me just measure that out. In fact, 16 grams, it looks quite a lot, doesn't it? It looks it, so, but yeah. Can you see that? Um, oh, sorry, Maria wants it first. Really? And then can you put you it under that? the bowl, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So 16 grams, that looks a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. So let's uh, drop that in. So we'll drop that into the bowl as well. And then we're gonna drop the water in. That's 45 mils. And you should get a delicious banana flavour smell soon. So just do it so slow, like everything. And I'll just check that I'm doing it right. Mm. <laughs> we'll check now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And your bowl must be grease free as well. So if yes. you, whatever bowl you're using, make sure that after you've used it, because we all tend to use it for buttercream yeah. or cake mixes, do make sure that you give it a really good wash and actually I would probably, I might go through the dishwasher but if you haven't got a dishwasher make sure you put some boiling water in it or really hot water. Or a little bit of lemon juice, wipe it round or white vinegar. Yeah, ah, that's right. Grease. Now what it does say is that we have to put it on and we have to mix it for seven minutes. So we're not going to stand here for seven minutes. Could you just pass us a scraper, um, Maria yes. please? Um, I do remember Michael did it at the show for us and, and that's as simple as it is. If you pass one of those, have a one, but no, sorry. Um, that's how simple it is. So I mean, it could get any easier than that. Can you smell that smell? Doesn't it smell gorgeous? Sorry, concentrating there. can't smell very well. <laughs> I can smell it. Can you smell it? Yeah. So for those of you outside of the UK, we bake a product called flavoured icing sugar. Um, I think we have, are we about 40 at the moment? Yes. We were 56, yeah, we, we? reduced and we brought out some seasonal ones as well. So they're sort of a Christmas, winter sort of theme that we've got seasonal. So we've just still got quite down. a lot to choose from. Yeah. Loads of flavours. So I'm just having a little scrape down there. And you don't beat it on high, just nice and slow. What we'll do is we'll turn it back on again and hopefully Sarah will be able to speak a bit louder than you will hear it over <laughs> the mixer. So let me just turn it on again for those of you to see. So just one to two you mix it on. We're just going to leave it on that, I think that's all we need to do. Well, I'll have a little lick off here just to check it takes all right. <laughs> no, thank you. Mm -hmm. mm. You can smell it. I know, great, isn't it? I love that banana, banana. I do love and I've banana. diluted the flavour. So wow. that's the other good thing with our flavoured icing sugars as well. If you buy a 500 gram bag of flavoured icing sugar, use 250 grams of the flavoured icing sugar with 250 grams of flame. So you're actually getting double the amount. Mm. Um, what I actually would do, if you're going to use plain though, sift the plain because you'll find that the plain can be a bit lumpy. Ours goes through the blender. And ours will only go lumpy if you've kept it somewhere really, really cold. Um, so then you can sieve it then. But generally, you don't have to sieve our ice and sugar. Just sieve it. Never. Yours, no, never. No, no, it's good as else. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, what have you done on there now? Little it's carrots. Pink. That's what I thought they were carrots. I just wanted to make sure that we were on the same wavelength here. Oh. Little carrots. <laughs> get your. Um, so if we come back to here then. Oh, you're on there. You're yeah. okay. Do you want to go back to it or are you happy where you are? It's perfect. You're going to go back to that. Uh, no, I don't think I need to. I think I can show it under there now, though. Yeah. Yeah, with that, just with the green edible pen, I'll just flick some very tiny leaves when they're dry later on. Yeah. Maybe um, in a minute. You're going to have to speak louder because of this mixer. Yeah. Is so okay? I'm just um, pressure piped with thick outline icing, some little carrots on there, 
and I would just use the green edible pen to flick up some little leaves. Yep. Really cute. Just a winging it idea yeah, as I'm going. Yeah, but this is the, the fun about it. You can you put as much or as little detail on as you want. Yeah. And you can change the designs up. So, you know, it, different colours and yeah. as much or as little detail as you want. I'm just going to move this out of the way and take it down the kitchen because you don't need to see it mixing anymore. It can mix further down there. So if you can see the sheen on that, there yeah. is glitter all over yeah. it now. <laughs> <laughs> that is dried on the top okay so it's not safe to sort of um touch on put in a bag or anything like that no exactly it will sort of yeah dent you underneath yeah yeah it would dent underneath but you can put some piping over the top now or some airbrushing or whatever so i'm not touching hard on there but i'm just gonna this is um cut strange but it's gonna be a bit bigger than i'd like but cartoony again yeah Just a little bit of detail yeah. makes all the difference. It really does. It really does. So just while you're doing that, so can I just talk to you about Christmas opening hours? Okay, anybody who's ordering off our website at the moment, you'll see that we've taken next day delivery off. Now we took next day delivery off because all the couriers, not some of them, all the couriers, um, didn't realise how battered they were going to get this year, if that's a good terminology. But basically, all the online stores, you know, not that all the high street stores are closing down, they're turning to online stores. And with the Black Friday sale this year, um, everything's just gone mad for the couriers. And it got to one stage that most of the couriers wouldn't actually accept anybody's parcels. And that happened to us as well. Um, just after the Black Friday, wasn't it? I think it was um, a Tuesday, yeah. wasn't it? I think the issue was it wasn't just Black Friday this year. Cyber Monday, it was the Christmas it was sale. It's the whole week, wasn't yeah, it? Exactly. Yeah. So, um, so the couriers are really, really struggling. We have kept DPD open, but even DPD have said they cannot guarantee next day, and they won't guarantee next day. So, do be mindful of that. Um, it's actually every curry in the country. So we're going to take off next day deliveries. We're going to keep them off until mid-January because as it's coming up to Christmas, there's more and more panic shopping. And to be fair, I can't do with the stress. I don't know whether you're all aware, but even though it's a next day guarantee, uh, even though it's a next day delivery, it's not a guaranteed service. Mm -hmm. um, most couriers have a 97 to 98% success. Um, but sometimes there's things that happen. The belts break down in the hub. Do you know what? We all have machinery that breaks down. You've all had a washing machine that breaks, a fridge that breaks, the car breaks down. Well, they have the same problems. There's crashes, there's accidents, there's problems on the road. They've got their vans stuck in the traffic. You know, people are off sick. It's this time of the year when we've all got colds. They get staff off sick. So there's lots of factors that come into it. And when it's high peak season, we do have problems with couriers. So I've chopped off the next day for Hermes. Uh, DPD, we are still doing them, but they have also notified us as well that they cannot commit to a guaranteed next day, albeit they'll try their best. And we're gonna stay like that, as I say, right through to mid to the end of January, because that gets us through for the sales. For Christmas shopping, I would advise you to place your last order on the 20th of December. Okay, that gives us chance then to dispatch on the Monday, which will be the 23rd, but you won't get a next day. There's just no way you're going to get a next day for New Year's, for Christmas Eve. So if anybody tells you that you will, I'll be surprised. I must admit, I ordered a, quite a few things off Amazon last week, and every delivery came with an apology email. Sorry, your parcel's been delayed. So even Amazon are actually feeling it as well. So I'd probably say next week, is what we're we on next week so week commences the 16th, 16th. monday the 16th yeah so, so i i personally <laughs> would order monday or tuesday at the very very latest if you want it guaranteed for, for christmas. christmas um and i would probably say the very latest the very latest friday morning uh, morning yeah to stand at any chance but uh, yeah. as i say we've taken the next day delivery off now we are open um christmas eve so anybody who wants to do click and collect, you're more than welcome to pop in. 
Um, we are open in between Christmas and New Year, aren't we? What is it for? Um, yes, yeah, so the Friday the 27th, we yeah. will be open. It's a normal working day for us. We're open Monday and Tuesday, which is the 30th and the yeah. 31st. Um, and then we're back open on Thursday the 2nd and Friday the 3rd as yeah. normal. Yeah, ready for the new year. And our next, uh, our last uh, Facebook Live is Monday the 23rd. It was going to be Thursday the 19th, but that is all the staff. Do you know what, Rhea? I just forgot. It's your birthday today. Yes, it is. <gasps> oh my <Ooh>. God! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I'm just working out. Right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Maria. Happy birthday to you. The cookies are all Oh, Oh, Maria. We're so busy. Oh, man, I have given her a card this morning. I know. I should have mentioned it live. Sorry, distracting from what we're doing there. That's because we're talking about dates now. Forgot about it all. So, oh, happy birthday. Did you feel older or younger? Yeah, no, I feel older. Oh, oh, she's got it already. She doesn't know, does she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, no. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> well, they're all, I bet they're all sending loads oh, of love out of happy birthdays. Send cakes. Send cakes. Send cakes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so. Our last live was meant to be the 19th, okay, which is when we've got all the staff in doing something, which is really good fun. So I'm sure you're going to enjoy that because, and we've even got Maria's brother in as well, James. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we're not sure what we're going to get him to make. I think we came up with an idea yesterday, didn't yes. we? So uh, we'll come up with something there. We've got Yin, who does all the postage for us. So she's in doing something as well. Laura, we're getting Laura from behind the camera. Oh, she's no. got to do something. Karen will be in, Maria's doing something, I'm making something. Uh, for there, anyhow, so that will be on the 19th, and then on the 23rd, we've got Phil Jensen and his wife Christine who've oh, said that no, they would please. like to pop in. Do you know, have you met Phil and uh, Christine before? I have met them, but very briefly at the yeah, cake they're show. They're lovely people, yeah, aren't they? They really and they, are. They're lovely. running um, a thing called the Cake Professionals, I'll tell you more about it. But they actually sent me an email to say they're up here in the northwest because they live right down Plymouth Way. Cornwall. Um, oh, Cornwall. Yeah. No, it's yeah. further, yeah. Right down Cornwall, Cornwall isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Further yeah. and further. But they're up here in the north, so they just said, Carol, we're there on the Monday. Would you like us to do a live? We've got to take that opportunity. If you don't know them, they're on Extreme Cake Makers yeah. and they're always at the cake shows. So we're really looking forward to having them in the kitchen. You're going to be here on that day, the 23rd. Yes. Yeah? Because yeah. you are in Spain. I'm and in Spain. Spain. Yourself. Oh. Eating a lot. <laughs> Eat a lot in the sunshine. She'd be the one having Christmas in the sunshine yeah. while we're here oh, 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 <laughs> yeah. with our Santa jumpers on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I will give be wearing my jumper even if it's in Spain. Really? Yeah. 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 Really so bad. So, um, yeah, so just to let you know, that's how postage is going to be. And then after that, we finish in our next live, I believe it's the 6th of January. Do we come back? Yeah. And I'm almost sure we're opening up with Danielle Crouch. Oh, I'm sure that she's volunteered to do the opening one, providing there's no snow on her journey yes. ever, because she has to come over the tops. Yeah. So uh, unless she's snowed in, she'll be opening up, and then then you have got me quite a lot through January. Yeah. Unless I'm going to get you back up here again. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the spot now. I she's have. On the line. <laughs> I have. To be honest, got a very busy January um, uh, yeah, really? until the last week. Yeah, wow. Wow. Um, we'll put you in the yeah. last week, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so just to give you a recap of what Sarah's been doing while we've been chatting away, the detail on these is incredible. Absolutely amazing. So it's just different techniques and different ideas to give you a few um, bits of inspiration, I suppose, yeah. on how you can decorate them and what you can do with them. I'm literally doing any old thing just to show you uh, what you can do. I love it. Um, sorry, I'll speak up. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, the mix is still on in the background. <laughs> yeah, I moved it away. That's fantastic. And this is all on just crusted over, you know, so you can still work within, yeah. <clears throat> within about an hour. Okay. Yeah. That stops go really well. Look, see, I just touched that in and that yeah. went in a little bit, so you have to be careful. Yeah. Just Looking keep it just above it yeah. and then dropping it on it. Fantastic. Bit of 
of a little odd pattern that, but anyway, I've never seen that before. Checks and dots, but anyway. oh well. Dots, I think, would be cuter on their own, but. So I bet uh, Leslie Smith would be watching this. Yes. <laughs> she said she would be. Now, just to, just to say, if we have missed any of your questions, we will catch up later in the week. The feed moves really, really quickly, um, and we just try and pack as much in and live as we can. So if we have missed anything, we will catch up in the week for you. Like that. Can you see me now? Right, okay, so this is now mix. So all it is, it says mix on a low beat, so one to two. You might have heard me in the background just speed it up a bit, and I've speeded it up just to seven minutes is a long time when you're mixing. So all you have to do is, once it's done, you'll see it comes to that yeah. consistency. I've already tasted it. It tastes really good when it's smells amazing. Mmm. <laughs> it's good, isn't mm. it? Yeah, and it smells oh, gorgeous. And so then foam bananas. Yeah, foam so, bananas. Yeah, yeah. That really and there's what you can do then is like we'll put this in a Tupperware uh, box so that Sarah can take it home with her. And then, like she said, you you bring it down and loosen it as you need it. Yeah. So uh, great. Yeah. Fantastic. Pretty really good. Thank you. Right. So there you go. There's a few techniques. Yep. Haven't done that one yet. I didn't do a wet on wet today. Um, that's wet too wet? crusted over to do that but I'm gonna get on the airbrushing now um, wet on wet is literally using flood two different colors of flood icing yeah so remember we did the hearts before if you yes. look back on my last line yeah. the cookie line um, did blob blob pull down no blob one one dot yeah on another color you've just flooded with so say that was wet yeah I use a different wet color yeah say a red or whatever get a cocktail stick and just lift above and yeah, pull, pull through so that's on my last live anyway yeah. cookies